Persian Gulf leaders are in Washington today. This is a two-day summit with U.S. President Barack Obama, the White House seeking support for its proposed nuclear program agreement with Iran. And noticeably absent from this, the king of Saudi Arabia, who changed his mind about attending on the weekend. For more, let's bring in David Weinberg, a senior fellow at the Foundation for the Defense of Democracies, a nonpartisan policy think tank in Washington. David, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. What happened here with Saudi Arabia? Because apparently they were going to come and then there was a last minute change of heart. Yeah, I, I think it's important to note that um, Saudi Arabia has had longstanding concerns about this nuclear agreement. Uh, but th there was, as you note, uh, a real shift some, sometime last week. So on Thursday, reportedly, Secretary of State John Kerry sat down with the, the king, and the king told him, I'll see you next week. Uh, and yet something changed by Sunday. Uh, apparently, the, the negotiations behind the scenes on some sort of reassurance package, arms, uh, regional support um, wasn't shaping up the Saudi the way the Saudis wanted it to. Without Saudi Arabia at the table, there could be a problem. They are a key player in the Middle East. Well, they absolutely are. And in fact, only two of the six rulers of the GCC states are actually coming to Washington and Maryland this week. Um, the King of Bahrain, who's uh, considered relatively able-bodied and, and healthy, is, is also sitting out. Uh, and the rulers of the United Arab Emirates and Oman are, are both um, generally uh, not making public appearances for health reasons. So what are the concerns here with the Iranian nuclear deal, that they won't follow through? Mm. Well, um, I, I think it's twofold. One is, is that they, they're worried the, the Iranians won't follow through. But I, I think the other element is, uh, involves Iran's um, harmful regional behavior in places like Syria, where they're supporting uh, genocide, in places like Iraq, or Yemen, where, where they're, they're backing proxies that are uh, committing human rights abuses. The Gulf states have a valid concern that uh, with the tens of billions of dollars in sanctions relief that Iran is likely to get under any nuclear deal, that inevitably some of that is going to filter back into Iran's regional behavior. All right, David, we have to leave it there. Uh, we have to move on. Mm -hmm. But thank you for joining us today. Thank you.